It's time for a new weekly challenge. And this time, it's all about living purposefully. Stay tuned, and I will tell you all about it. And also, the objectives of the week that will make us work towards living purposefully. So it's time to throw ourselves into the practice of living purposefully. It's the fifth pillar from the book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, which is all about how we build our self-esteem. It's the second time I'm doing this theme of living practice, practice, living with purpose. You see that the structure of the channel is that every other week I do one of these pillars from the book and every other week I do rejection therapy. I put myself in situations where I go against that fear of not doing the things I really want to do, but together this whole package has made me grow my self-esteem to a level I could never imagine. So let's throw ourselves into what the book actually says about the practice of living purposefully. I'm actually briefly going to address the four main core issues that Daniel Brandon, the author, talks about and then I'm gonna to get to the objective how we're actually gonna improve our our way of living purposefully we find some clear simple objectives and we follow through on them Monday to, through Friday to make sure that we have some growth <coughs> ah, God damn first off we got taking responsibility for formulating one's goals and purposes consciously that means looking at your life what do i want to accomplish do i have a career goal do i have a relationship goal taking responsibility to actually formulating what it is that i'm striving for clearly specified they're vague if they're so so then nothing is gonna happen like okay i want to have 100 subscribers that means i have to do this this and that that goal drives action but you need to sit down I need to be specific and need to actually write some things down, goals and the purposes for why you need to do those things. And that brings us to the second point, being concerned with the actions required to reach our goal. Again, if I want to develop my YouTube channel, that means I need to strategize, that means I have to research, that means I have to develop new skills in order to take the necessary actions to bring me to my goal. If I want to meet a girl and I suck at social interactions, that means I need to read book or get a, go out there and practice. Putting up a goal that is like 1%, not even that. You need to put down some real actions to actually get to where we want to go. Thirdly, we got monitoring behavior to see that those are in alignment with our goals. So in practicality, this means that Say that we have the purposes outlined and goals, say that we have an action plan that states how we're going to get to those goals, but then it comes down to the, the repetitive actions we take. Are we being distracted? Are we multitasking? If we're not able to do what's necessary to take us to our goals, then we're going to end up in the same place or actually reverting back to even worse state. If we don't have an efficient way of working if we don't have an efficient way of checking in that we're actually making progress then nothing is gonna happen and this is a personal point to me that I've been really really working on to become better and better at still I am so awful at this I'm multitasking all the time I'm not prioritizing the way I should be prioritizing it is a bottleneck I got the first two things quite in order, but this third thing, it's easy to get caught up in like, yeah, I'm productive, I'm working all the time, but is it really the right things we're working on? Doing work for the sake of doing work? Maybe my 15 hours days of working can be cut down to five hours if I'm just more efficient and doing the right things. And the last fourth core issue in how to live purposefully is to actually pay attention to the outcomes of the actions we are taking. If I am ordered to actually implement the action plan I've set out to follow, I'm gonna get 500 subscribers within a month. 
and the month goes and I do all the actions, but still I see that nothing is happening here. I have, I have a plan, I've implemented it, I've done all the work, but still I'm not getting to where I want to. Maybe there is something wrong in my initial plan, that happens all the time. It's all about tweaking and adjusting to the reality that is played out. That is one of the core things for why I have a weekly evaluation. I sit down, I look through the week, what has happened, what actions have I taken, and what has been the result of those things. Do the results align with my initial goals, the year goals, the month's goals? Objectively look at the, the reality and see if I need to tweak my, my plan. So those are the basic core issues that Nathaniel Brannon addresses in the book. I'm gonna put links down there to the actual audiobook. It's only like 15 minutes long, so listen to that and take in his work. And I'm also gonna put links down there to the first week where I talked about this theme and I had another focus. I also did some week vlogs back then in how to actually go about finding your life purpose. That is the main, main thing that he addresses in this chapter. If you don't know your life purpose, because I think that's the majority of what people actually experience. Until you know that purpose, your purpose is to find that purpose. It is a truly subjective matter really and if you wake up without a purpose in the morning then you don't have that drive that, that fuels you because that's a feeling you only get when you know you have that. That is something I truly has been fueled up by since I started this channel. This is not something that is gonna be my life for the rest of my life but for now I have a purpose. I wake up in the morning, I plan stuff out. I have this personal development quest. That being said, it doesn't mean that that's how it's gonna be for the rest of my life. That's not the, the idea, but it's about having something to wake up to, a motivation for going about life, short term and long term. But finding the answer to that question, what gets you out of bed in the morning, that is a quest in itself. That has its own purpose. And if you don't know, that is your purpose right now. So the objectives of the week are gonna be quite straightforward. They're actually inspired by the book, The 4-Hour Workweek, which I've been reading this week. I'm truly inspired to just apply those practices because they really are about purposeful meaning, working in an efficient manner to reach those goals. The first objective is to, for five minutes each day, sit down and only focus in on thinking about living purposefully. Do you feel that you have that drive when you wake up in the morning? Are you doing things that you enjoy in life? Or is this something that should change? Should you perhaps consider doing something else in your career? Or some hobby project of yours that maybe needs more attention? Five minutes and only, only, only think about living purposefully. I'm gonna put some videos down there to, to inspire you in order to how to think about that. The second objective is gonna be to apply the Pareto principle. It says that 20% of the actions leads to 80% of the results. Just to give you some context, for me when I'm developing a video, it contains a whole lot of different steps before I can post the video. And in the beginning, in the beginning, I spent a whole lot of time writing down these long texts and it took forever. But then I realized, wait a second, is there anybody that are actually reading these? And I found that not to be the case. So by making the text really simple, I saved hours and hours time I can instead spend on upping up the quality of the video, something that gives a whole lot of of more results in terms of where I want to go. Throughout your day, think about what is actually bringing you the majority of the results and streamline your life to cut down the things that don't for at least five minutes a day and just think about my life, look at what I'm doing on a daily basis and see if they're actually giving me the value I want to or if they're just time stealing thieves. In such case, cut them out from my life or outsource them. In the four hour work week, he actually puts out these two questions. What are the 
20% of the actions that leads me to being a happy, fulfilled person? And what are the 20% of the actions that actually leads to me feeling unhappy and sad? Those two questions are also good to put in writing. Think about it and answer those. And the third and last objective is going to be a simple little question that we are going to ask ourselves three times a day. I'm going to put an alarm in my phone so when it rings this question I'm going to ask myself. Am I inventing things to avoid the important things? We have a tendency to make up things to feel productive. We're like, yeah, I need to clean now when I, I know I have to study for an exam back in the study times. This is something I struggle with a whole lot. I'm the kind of guy that needs to be doing something all the time. So I invent stuff. I, I need to fix this. I need to write this. I need to do that. If I really look at my priorities, those are like far, far down. But th those are usually easy to do and makes me feel like I'm contributing to my growth. But in reality, it's just small shitty things that are uncomparable to the things that I really need to address that really moves me forward. So that is the last objective. If you think it's too much, just do the first one or pick the one that speaks to you the most. And again, I also recommend you to read the four hour work week is a really good book. I can actually put a link down to the audiobook, which is out on YouTube as well. But so with those words, I'm gonna close this chapter down. I hope you are excited. I am super excited. I feel that this is gonna be the week where I really put in the, the starting steps towards starting my own business. That is my dream and that is something I need to if there are any questions, if you want to just reach out to me, post a comment down there and I'll make sure to get back to you. My name is Alexander Nilsson. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being awesome and see you in the week. Bye guys. Hello. Hello. Shiena. 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 Shiena.